today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. Every single intro is always the exact same thing. Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right here. Anyways, today I'm going to finally be doing this makeup tutorial. I mentioned that I was super pumped to film a makeup tutorial like a month ago and this was the look that I was referring to. I have been so excited to film this look because I have to be honest, I think this is the fav my favorite look, at least my favorite smoky eye that I've ever done here on YouTube. Like I love this look and the, my favorite thing about it is that it's going to look good on everybody. Any skin color, any eye color, this is going to compliment absolutely everyone. Like it's got warmth in there but yet like... <laughs> George, he likes it too. What I love about this look is it has some warmth in there, but we also have like a really fun color, but the color is such an awesome wearable color for a smoky eye, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to do a color with a smoky eye, I definitely think this is wearable and it's just so fun and it's different. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. I did add a double wing liner to this look. You do not have to do that. You don't have to do any liner. You can do a wing liner. You can do just a regular black line. You don't have to do anything special. Like I just wanted to do this because the night that I came up with this look, later that night I was in bed and I came across old photos of myself from when I first started working at MAC and I used to do the double wing liner all the time and I would do like a stripe in between it. I would put like a white stripe or like a yellow stripe in between the double wing and I was looking at that and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like I haven't done that in years. So I thought I would just incorporate it into this look to make it even more fun. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna stop rambling. I know I'm talking so much, but that's because I miss you. I haven't been here in a while. The past week has been so busy and the next week is also insanely busy. I have so many family, friends, business associates all coming into town. I've had four meetings in the past week and it's just been a lot. So starting February 5th, everything's gonna finally go back to normal and calm down a little bit. But this like two week gap is like the busiest two weeks of my year pretty much. So I am trying to be active on Twitter and Instagram though and like kind of keep talking to you guys so that you don't feel like I'm gone for too long. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right, let's do this. The first thing I'm gonna do today is go in with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee and Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow. I'm gonna mix those two together and then apply them in my upper crease area, going all the way back and forth from my inner corner to my outer corner, working in circular windshield wiper motions. It is super important to lay down a light base as a transition color in that upper crease because it'll make everything else that you put on later blend seamlessly with no harsh lines. I'm going in with an E25, which is just a little bit of a denser brush just to make that color a little bit darker in that upper crease area. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear. This is one of my favorite shadows of all time and I realized I have not used it in quite a while in one of my videos so it's about that time again. I'm going to take an E25 again and put that in the entire upper crease. Now I'm going to go in with a dark brown shade. I honestly would not recommend this particular one. This is Ground Brown from MAC. I would use whatever dark brown shade you have for yourself at home because this one was kind of choppy and difficult to blend so I just wouldn't go with this one if you got something else. Using a pencil brush from Makeup Geek which I absolutely love this brush. I'm going to pack that on the inner corner of my eye right by my tear duct and then I'm also going to pack it on the outer corner of my eye as well leaving a blank space right in between kind of like a sandwich if you get this all over your lid don't worry because we're going to go in and cover a lot of it up anyways I always make sure to go back after every single step though and just blend everything out because that's really the key to no harsh lines is continuously going back and blending now I'm going to go in with the star of the show, and this is Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Houdini. Look at the beauty. Just take a moment. Oh my gosh. These shadows are so gorgeous, and I am using a MAC 242 brush to apply this. This is a flat synthetic brush, which is just like my favorite brush ever to apply anything that's creamy or super shimmery or glittery because it really holds the product very beautifully and lays it on the eyes beautifully as well. So I'm just going to put this all over the entire lid from inner corner to outer corner, and once I'm in that crease and I, it's time to blend it into that cocoa bear, that warm reddish brown. I'm going to go back with another blending brush and just go back and forth. Take your time, do this for a few seconds and go in windshield wiper motions and really make sure that those two kind of meet together beautifully and seamlessly so you don't have harsh lines. Because I completely covered up that dark brown, I'm just going to go back really quickly and pack a little bit more on the inner corner and the outer corner. You could do this with like black as well to make it even more intense, but I wanted to do brown because I just kind of like that brownish, bluish, kind of warm reddish brown altogether. I think they're very complimentary and they just tie together beautifully. 
And then once again, I will go back in with the same blending brush and just make sure that all of that is blended out because I always blend every single step out. Then I'm going to take a Q-tip and a little bit of eye cream or any moisturizer, makeup remover, whatever you have. And I'm just going to gently kind of wipe away that excess because sometimes you can get a little sloppy and this is a nice little trick to kind of sharpen up that outer corner, make it look nice and edgy so that it's not sloppy or you don't have fallout all over the place. Then I'm going to go in and do my liner. I'm using Maybelline Gel Liner in the shade Black is black as always and an angled brush today I'm only going to do a little bit of liner on the outer corner I'm not going to bring this liner all the way in across the lash line because I don't want to cover up this gorgeous shadow that I have going on so because of that I'm just going to do a half wing and just kind of flick it on the very edge and then we'll be done with that I'm going to go in with a MAC Pro eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Kelly. I just wanted to add a little extra pop, and as you can see, it's really not that big of a difference and not really that necessary, but you know, I'm having fun. I'm doing my thing, and so I wanted to add a little bit of this in the center just for giggles. This is a MAC Pro item, so you can purchase it online or MAC Pro stores. It's not available at, you know, like regular counters or regular stores. Now I am applying Velour Lashes in the style Lash in the City. These have a little wing, like a flick on the end of the false lashes, which really complements the winged liner look that we have. As you can see right here, the difference between both eyes. But I did feel like the wing on the end did kind of slightly cover up my double wing liner. So that's just a tip for you. I am going to be priming my face with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And oh my gosh, you guys, can we say obsession? This is like my new baby. So I'm going to douse myself in this primer water let it get a little dry of course dry off the lashes we don't need those things to be sitting there wet on the face and then I'm gonna go in with my foundation I'm using makeup forever HD foundation and I am in number one two three as you can see my neck is number one two three and my face is like a negative zero so I am going to be matching my neck as always I'm using a Sigma flat top f80 kabuki brush and I do miss it with a little bit of fix plus from Mac just because I like how it shears out my foundation a little bit and it has glycerin in it so it helps just to kind of make everything stay together like glue for me some people can have reactions to fix plus though if you're super sensitive so just be on the lookout for that so I'm just going to blend this all over the face as always nothing too special and I know that sometimes I can look a little yellow when this is going on but listen I'm matching my neck and that is what's important it will all tied together in the end I promise I'm going to of course conceal as always I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer my favorite concealer of life and a damp beauty blender which is my favorite way to blend out my concealer ever so I take this down the side of my nose and I go up towards my temple in this very big upside down triangle motion and I blend all that out and then I dab some on the center of my nose the center of my forehead I always put a little bit on my chin and my upper lip on my cupid's bow as well just to even out that highlight so that we do not have stark white under eyes and everything else is tan we want everything to be nice and even now I'm going to be going in and doing contour and I am using the Chanel Soleil de Tan. Okay. Wow. We're just moving on. I'm using this cream bronzer from Chanel and I am using an F80 again from Sigma to do this. I do prefer the F86, which is angled, but that was dirty. So we're working with what we got right now. So I'm going to put this all over the cheekbones and also the temples and the top of the forehead right by my hairline. And then we're going to go in and sculpt this out a little bit. I do intend on doing a full cream contour and highlight video very soon. It's been very highly requested. So I'm going to skip through this pretty quickly for you guys and not go into too much detail, but I am using these Smashbox contour sticks to do this process that I am working with right now. And I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend everything out. Now a harsh, harsh contour like this on day to day basis might not be so ideal and might not be ideal for any of you, but I like a really intense striking contour when you're working with smoky eyes and a very dramatic look. So I, of course, as always, I'm going to set my under eye concealer and then I'm going to move on to my under eye area. So I am using an angle brush. This one is by Morphe and I'm going back with that original color from Makeup Geek in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm going to just lightly kind of carve out that lower double wing that we're going to be doing. I do want my double wing to be kind of smoky. So that's why I'm starting off with a shadow and not just immediately going in with a black intense liner. But I will go in and continue to make it a little bit more intense with liner. But as you can see, all I'm going to do is go from that lower lash line and just run it parallel to that wing liner 
color that we already have on the top lid. This, when you look at it, looks like, oh, that's too complicated. That's too much for me. But if you really try it on your own eye, you'll probably be very quickly surprised how easy this actually is to do on yourself. So going back with a little itty bitty teeny blending brush, I'm just going to blend all that out because I do want it to be a little bit smokier than normal. Then with a little bit of concealer and a definer brush, I'm going to put that in between those two wings so that it kind of stands out and it's a little bit more defined. Can we just talk about how crazy it is that I didn't bring that blue down on my lower lash line? I always bring the color down on my lower lash line and today I didn't and it's like, what? Who am I? But I really, really like this. I think that it just makes it look a little bit different than something that I would normally wear. So I am just going back with that black gel liner and making it more intense. I did just fill up my brows, by the way. I felt like it was unnecessary to put that on camera since I recently did an updated brow tutorial. I am going to highlight my inner corner of my eye. I'm using MAC Nylon, which is a very intense highlight. I absolutely love it. I use it for brow highlight, cheekbone highlight, any highlight you need. Nylon is a very intense, shimmery, yellow-based highlight, and it's very beautiful on tons of different skin tones. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to line my lower waterline. I am using Ardency In Eyeliner in the blackest color that they have. It is the creamiest of all time. And then I'm going to go in and coat my lower lashes with MAC Giga Black Mascara. Now I'm going to be highlighting my cheekbones and I am using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, the center shade. I'm not sure what it's called right now, but look at how gorgeous this is. It's like heavenly. It's so beautiful. I am using a Sigma tapered highlighting brush to do this. And then over top of that, I'm going to lay down Makeup Geek Spellbound Blush, which is a really beautiful kind of muted rosy pink. And I just think that it looks absolutely gorgeous over top of this highlight. It's like it's beaming through the blush. I love it. Now to finish everything off, I'm going to be going in with this new Kat Von D contour and highlight kit. And honestly, you guys, I am just using an excuse to use this because I am so in love with this kit. I am using the brush that you can buy along with it just to kind of set all the contour that I did earlier and sculpt out the jaw and the chin and just make everything a little bit more precise and cut. Then I'm going to go in and finish off this look by doing my lips. And I am starting off with the Urban Decay liner in the shade Native. I am not overdrawing my lips or anything like that. I'm just using it as as a base and then I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Coquette which is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It's a nice kind of peachy pink kind of nudish shade. I love Lime Crime lipsticks because they last such a long time on my lips personally. And then to finish everything off I'm going to go in with my favorite makeup setting spray and this is Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. You use whatever you want. You do you boo. That completes this look. I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye! It does not matter how, what your, <sighs> uh, 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 oh, oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> oh, yes, you're the king of this castle, aren't you? Yes, you are.